Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Tenna and welcome to my circus. And I am the girl with the big curly hair because I'm trying new hair products and my hair is drying down and it looks a little bit huge. So bear with me and my big hair today. So if you have not been able to tell by the title on this video, I got something in the mail this morning. I'm excited to play with it. And it is probably one of my favorite drugstore brands on the planet, which is Wet n Wild. So what I got in the mail was this guy right here. Yes, it is the Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy Summer Collection. Basically, I've got most of the collection in here. We're gonna go ahead and go over this. We're gonna swatch the things. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at everything that is inside of this box. So if this is what you're here for, and if this is what you want to watch, then stick around. We will go ahead and jump right on into the video. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I really have no clue what you're doing with your life, but you know, subscribing to my channel makes your life about like 5% better. So you should try it. All right, so I have nothing on my face because we do have some primer things. We got some things in this box to play with. So basically, again, here's the box. I love it. It's got this nice little little rainbow hologram moment. So if we go ahead and open up the lid on this bad boy, this is all of the stuff that is inside of it. So basically, this comes with three baked blushes. It comes with three eyeshadow quads. We've got four lip glosses is what this looks like. And we've got two eyeliners a primer water spray, and a lip scrub. So we're gonna go ahead and try all of these guys out. I'll let you guys know how they work, how much they cost, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right on in to playing with some of this stuff. All right, so first up, if you are interested in getting your hands on the entire box of items, it does not include everything from the summer collection. However, it contains a good amount of it. This guy will land you about $34.99, which is not bad considering all of the things that you get inside of it. Um, the only thing that this thing does not have is I think that it's missing one eyeliner, which I think was like a weird color um, that I was like not really into, so I'm glad that that one is not in here. Um, and then I believe that there's also like a nail polish line, which, you know, I probably wouldn't have wanted either just because I get my nails did by somebody else so I don't need to be sitting around and doing my own nails. So anyway, um, let's try out the first thing in this box which is this guy right here. Um, it is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Scrub. So it is this guy right here and it looks like it is in this nice, it looks like a watermelon flavor. Yeah, it is in the um, flavor Pecker Up which is cute. It looks like this is like a whole like hummingbird kind of like bird type uh, theme to it. Um, you, oh wow. Mmm, so if you go ahead and take a look at it right there, that is basically what it is. It just looks to be like a nice pink sugar scrub. It smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It smells really, really, really good. Um, this guy retails for, according to their website, $3.99. It also looks like they have an orange flavor as well in the flavor Citrus Elixir. I'm glad I got the watermelon one because I would have preferred that one over the orange one. So I'm going to go ahead and try this guy out. We'll see how it feels. It's a very, very thick consistency. It's kind of like this nice sugar scrubby kind of consistency. So if you kind of take a look at it right there, that's kind of what it looks like. It's nice and thick. Um, so Let's go ahead and rub this all over the lips, prep these lips for what we're getting ready to do for it. Hmm. So, it tastes like Jolly Ranchers. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it, but I'm eating it. Um, it does taste like Jolly Ranchers. I will say that this is a really good dupe if any of you guys at home have the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub. Um, it actually feels just like it. It has the same kind of sugar consistency and it has those kind of oils that are inside of it um, that really, really moisturize the lips and gets it like nice and prepped. Like my lips feel very, very soft and very, very like moisturized after using this. I will say the Jeffree Star ones taste better. So if you're into eating your lip scrubs, then you know, pick the Jeffree Star one because it tastes better. Um, you know, this one does taste like watermelon, but it still kind of has that like, artificial kind of a plasticky taste to it as well. I really like this. Um, for only $3.99, that's a pretty damn good price for a nice lip scrub. I think everybody should have a nice lip scrub in their arsenal just because, you know, you wear a lot of, you know, matte lipsticks and crazy things like that. And really, it dries the hell out of your lips and it's really, really nice to have a product that can kind of slow off that dead skin and just kind of, you know, get your lips nice and prepped for all of that. So I am definitely a fan of this guy. Let's go ahead and move on to the next product that makes sense in here, which is this guy right here, if I can pull it out of the box. 
Um, it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. And it is this guy right here. It comes in this cute little bottle here. Um, so we'll go ahead and open this thing up. I'm pretty sure it is a primer water, so you're supposed to use this before you put your makeup on. So I'm gonna try this out and then I'm gonna run off and put on my foundation and all that stuff and then I'll be back to go over the rest of everything in this box. So the primer water spray retails for $4.99 and it is in the color Paradise Potion, um, color, scent, whatever you wanna call it. So we'll go ahead and pump this and it has like this nice fine mist. Hmm, doesn't really, have much of a scent to it, but we'll go ahead and just kind of spray this all over the face. So, I mean, I don't think it smells that great. I mean, it kind of smells like cheap, like kind of like cheap skincare, I want to say. It doesn't have like a paradise scent or anything to it. I think that Wet n Wild definitely could have like went and like made it some type of like coconut or like fruity scent or something like that. It kind of reminds me that it like kind of smells like baby powder or like smells like like baby changing type materials, like diaper wipes and like baby powder. It smells like diaper wipes. That is what it is. Yes, it smells like diaper wipes. So I mean, that's not like a terrible thing, like it's a fresh smelling thing, but like I expected for something that's called like paradise potion for it to have like somewhat of a fruity smell. Um, I will say I can definitely feel it on my skin. It does leave my skin a little bit sticky. So that might actually make a nice base for my foundation. Um, so we'll go ahead and throw my foundation over the top of this and see if it looks any different. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face so that we can go ahead and jump into the rest of this box. All right, I'm back. I have my face on, I have my eyebrows on. And I went and made myself a margarita because it's Saturday and it's 80 degrees outside and I wanted a damn margarita. So I'm gonna go lounge about outside once I'm done doing this look. So as you can see, my face is getting a little bit light. It's starting to get a little bit warm out here. So I'm gonna have to start switching over to my summer foundation because Lord knows this foundation's a little light. This is like my deep, deep depths of winter shade. But when it, we'll go ahead, we'll bronze it up. We'll bronze it up a little bit. So anyways, next up in this collection that I wanna play with is that we've got these three different eyeshadow quads and they're interesting colors. So I'm really, really curious to play with these guys. These are pretty cool. I mean, I think that they're interesting to pick up. I don't think that you're gonna be able to do like some crazy eye look if you pick up one versus the other type deal. Um, you know, and the thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is that um, all of these are like shimmers except for like the transition. I am not a fan of putting shimmer shades into my crease just because it it just doesn't look good to me. I don't think at least. Um, according to Wet n Wild's website, these guys go for $2.99, which you cannot beat that. So even if you just wanted to get a color out of one of these, just picking one of them up, I think is a really stinking good deal. Um, so I kind of want to play with, let's see, what do I want to play with? What do I want to play with? So I'm actually going to play with these two right here. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a neutral eye look and then I kind of want to just pop a little bit of color in there as well. Um, I'll leave this guy out. We'll go ahead and swatch all of them. I just can't possibly use every single color from these before, you know, otherwise I'd look like a freaking clown and look crazy. Um, so let's go ahead and swatch these bad boys and I will go ahead and zoom in for you guys so that you can see it a little better. This is what all of them look like right here. Um, we have got the first palette right here, which is the Pluck Party. Is that what it's called? Flock Party, sorry. So we've got the Flock Party right here. We've got the second one that's the Asta La Costa Baby right here. And then the last one is the Stop Ruffling My Feathers. I will say so far, the one that is the most pigmented and stands out the most to me so far is this Asta La Costa Baby because like the colors are so damn pigmented and pretty. The shimmers are really, really nice. So let's go ahead and play with some of these, um, see how it comes out and see what kind of look that we can kind of come up with these guys. All right, first thing I'm going to pop into this palette right here. I'm gonna pop into this transition shade. I am gonna go ahead and take a Morphe M535 brush, which is at this fluffy guy right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and wash this color all over my lid. We'll say there's a lot of fallout in here. Um, so if you wanna take a look, I mean, I don't know really what you expect from a $2, $3 eyeshadow, but there is quite a bit of fallout in there. Um, if you kinda watch me dip in here with the brush, you can kind of see how much of it kind of comes out. You can see like it dusting everywhere and then you can see all that. So there's quite a bit of fallout, but I mean, like I said, not sure what you really expect from a $3 palette. Let's go ahead and wash this all over the lid. 
I really want to use these quads like the way they say they should be used where it has like the crease transition like whatever but like I really don't think that it's going to work very well that way like I honestly don't want to put any of those shimmers in my crease and I don't want to ruin the eye look so I'm just gonna do this the way I feel like doing the thing next I'm going to go into the stop ruffling my feathers palette um, I'm gonna go ahead and take that deeper transition shade on this one um, if you can see the difference between the two this one's more of a peanut buttery one this one's a little bit deeper um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a MAC 224 brush god there is eyeshadow all over the place like there's so much fallout from this um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one this one does not have as much fallout as the peanut buttery one so that's good I'm gonna go ahead and take that I'm gonna pop this one into my crease and just kind of deepen it up just a little bit I will say these blend out really nicely granted there is a lot of fallout um, when you are dipping into them in the palette but I mean not something that I'm mad at for a quad that costs $2.99. If this was a $40 eyeshadow palette, I'd be a little bit pissed about it. So they actually blend out really, really nicely. Um, I don't see really any patchiness, anything like that. They blend out nice and seamlessly. And they look very, very smooth and buttery. So that is a good thing. Um, next, let's go ahead and go into this eyelid color right here. I kind of like it because it's kind of this like nice like pinky kind of gold color. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually apply this one with my finger just because I don't care what it is. I don't care what the promises are, but if it's a shimmer, um, I already know that it's not going to apply the way that I want to like a finger would. So it will never apply it with a brush the way I would like it to. So, um, not super pigmented. It's a little... I mean, it's showing up a little bit, but it's definitely not that like metallic foiled kind of look that I thought that I was going to get from this. So it's a little bit difficult to, hmm. Okay, well maybe let's try it with a brush and hit it with a little bit of Fix Plus. Maybe that will, maybe that will change it a little bit, yeah? Like, there's no fallout with this one. So I got a little bit on the brush there. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of Fix Plus and just this and see if that makes a difference at all. Yeah, it's not really making much of a difference. I mean, granted I've got like a little bit of a shimmery lid, but like nothing um, too crazy. I wonder if I can take like that crease color and put that all over my lid and see if maybe that makes a difference. Okay, maybe let's take this crease color then, um, which is this guy it is kind of like this um, bronzy kind of orangey fire color. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually try this one and see if that maybe shows up on the lid. So that one shows up a lot better I think actually that one shows up a lot a lot better so yeah we can see this one all right so it definitely is bronzy you can definitely see that one that one shows up a lot better yeah guys I don't know what it is like this eyelid color right here like is just not budging at all like there's like definitely like no fallout like it's not moving I don't know if I can take like a fluffy brush and kind of get in there and see if I can get yeah like literally I'm just doing this and like literally nothing is on the brush look at that it's supposed to be like a pink color it is like in there there's no if I put it on my arm nothing nothing shows up so that's a bum color, um, but the crease shade works really, really good as a lid topper. So if you want to use that instead, um, that's a bummer. That's really a bummer. All right, so let's go ahead and go in with the brow bone shade in here. Um, see if that one makes a difference. Let's see, if there's like different brow bone shades. I don't know which one I like better. Let's go with the one that was in the palette that we were already using. I'm gonna go ahead and take this smaller little brush here. We're gonna go ahead and dip into the brow bone shade, see if we can get some, uh, see what it does. See if there's any pigment there. Oh yeah, there it is. So definitely get a little bit of the eyebrow highlight with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit from this palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of the white and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. That one's certainly pigmented you can see it in the inner corners there and then just for a little bit of a pop of color just because I want to play with it um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush um, and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this lid color and I'm actually going to dust that underneath my eye and see how that comes out Ooh, she's blue she's blue she stands out
these are pigmented for sure. I don't know what's up with the eyelid color in that one palette, but it does not work. I'm gonna go ahead and take that fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of smoke this out. A little bit of a blue moment. So it's definitely blue, definitely stands out, you guys. So these are actually pretty cool. I think that the colors in here, the blue and the purple, if you were looking out and getting this one, I think that they're really cool. They definitely have um, a little bit of a shimmer to them. They're definitely more of like a metallic. Like the blue is beautiful. The blue is so, so pretty and so is the purple. So I definitely would pick this one up in regards to just playing with the colors. Granted, this transition shade had a lot of fallout, but I mean, it is what it is. It's a $3 palette, you guys. I'm not gonna judge it that harshly. It's not like I'm crying over $3 if you know there's a lot of fallout but these two colors right here are amazing um didn't really get to play with this one just because i wanted to play with a little bit more of the tropical colors in it but i can imagine it does look like the crease shade and the eyelid they did swatch pretty well um and then this guy right here was a little bit of a flop for me um i don't know if i would pick this one up i mean granted there's some nice neutrals this does not work at all this lid color does not work at all and really every other eyeshadow palette on the planet has these transition shades so I would pass on this one if you're looking to pick up just the single um, eyeshadow quads on their own not really a huge fan I mean we've all got a million neutral palettes how many more do we need and this one doesn't work very well and I'm kind of bummed about it because this shade looks so pretty it's like this nice goldish pink kind of pearl effect to it and I'm kind of bummed that it didn't work so that's unfortunate but definitely my favorite out of the three is this guy right here um, I'm going to go ahead and pop on a little bit of liner. Um, let, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these two for you guys. These are kind of some like unconventional colors as far as liners go. Um, they are their metallic liquid eyeliners. These guys also go for $2.99. We've got them in two colors here, which is, what is this color? This one is Winged and Wild, which looks to be kind of a gr dark green kind of a color. So if I go ahead and just swatch this on the back of my hand, which this one looks amazing. Remember my last video that I did on the holographic ones um, and they did not show up very well. So this one's very, very pigmented and looks to be extremely pretty. The second one is a gold and it is in the color Gilded Wings. So if we go ahead and swatch that on the back of this hand. Oh wow, yeah, that's beautiful. So there is Gilded Wings, which is this very nice gold color. So these both seem to be very, very, very pigmented. Definitely a step up from the Gothographic collection, which I hated all of those liners. They did not work at all. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw on my regular black winged eyeliner. I think I'm going to play with this gold one. Um, not really going to play with the green. I think the green would really like clash with the eye look that I have going right now. So let me go ahead and throw on some black winged eyeliner and I will be right back. All right, winged eyeliner is on. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of this gold. I think I just want to line it like right underneath the black there just to give a little bit of a pop. And I just want to see just kind of how it glides on. So, I mean, I've used eyeliners that are more pigmented than this. I mean, it definitely gives the effect. It's just a little bit patchy. It's not as opaque. But I mean, the effect is there. So if you can kind of see a little bit of the gold there, I mean, it's not as opaque as like I would want it to be. So if you can kind of zoom in there, you can kind of see a little bit of the gold underneath the wing there. So I mean, it works. I mean, it goes on, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my bottom lash line just because I feel like it needs a little bit of smoke, throw on some lashes, and then I'll be right back again and we can go ahead and try out the rest of this face stuff. All right, and we are back. Isn't it amazing what lashes and a little bit of liner can do to a look? At first, I didn't know we were going there, but I'm actually kind of like living for this. It's kind of got this like tropical hummingbird moment. If you kind of just zoom in there, got this nice like blue hummingbird color, just a little pop of gold with the wing. Kind of living for it. So anyways, and next thing in here is that we've got three different blushes. If y'all aren't new here, you know that I hate blush. I hate it, I hate it. But you know what, for the sake of this review, I'm gonna try them for you guys. So basically, we have got three different blushes here. They're all shimmery, which I feel like makes it even worse because I feel like my pores are the most prominent here. And the last thing I'm gonna do is put shimmer down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these guys for you. So the first one up is this guy right here. Um, it is this nice kind of pinky gold kind of a color. It'll zoom in there. Um, and it is in the color Don't Flutter Yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit here. They are very, very creamy. Um, very, very, very nice and silky. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and just run it here. Y'all, these are like highlighters. These are so shimmery. Oh, I'm scared. I don't wanna put these on my face. Um, and next one is this guy right here, which is 
uh, Hummingbird Hype, which is this nice kind of a gold color here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that one. This one feels a little bit more dry than the one I just watched, but there is that guy there. Um, that one, and then is the last one that scares me, which is a Dare to Soar, which is this bright pink here. Let's go ahead and, oh my god, fuck this here. Which that is like, that one is pink. So basically that is what they look like. I honestly feel like these two look like highlighters. So um, kind of curious to see how these are gonna look on the face. I'm gonna go ahead and try one. I'm not gonna put all of them on because that would be crazy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a tiny brush and we're gonna go ahead and try these out. All right, so this one, I don't even think is a blush. It's literally gold. Like this looks like one of their freaking highlighters. And like, I'm kind of like playing with these like on a brush, like on my arm and stuff like that. And the one that looks most like a blush is actually this dark pink one that actually scares me a little bit. Um, so I might actually, I'm gonna try the dark pink one. So I'm just going to dab into it just a couple, just one, two. And we're gonna go ahead and just kind of put this on and see how it kind of looks. So there it is. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not like as pink as I thought it was going to be. It's kind of pretty. All right, for somebody that hates blush, I mean, it's kind of pretty. So yes, I'm going in with this guy, the really dark one that scared me, the Dare to Soar color. Um, so if you kind of go in with a light hand, it's not um, crazy Barbie cheeks like I thought that it, it would be. And it doesn't go on as shimmery as I thought it would either. So basically, that is what, so yeah, it's a, it's a little, that's some color. There's a little, there's a little wash of color. Is Tina starting to like blush now? What is happening? The world is going to end. No, I doubt it though. I don't know, there's something about blush on me. Like, I'm just very big on like, people of color like don't really blush. So it's like, stop trying to make yourself look like you're blushing because we don't turn pink like that. So, you know, I still think that like, one of these would definitely be like a highlighter. I almost want to try this one as like a highlighter just to see what would happen. Eh, no. I mean, it's kind of got a little bit of shimmer there, but nothing like their um, their actual like highlighters. So, I don't know. I think this one's probably more of like a bronzy effect to it. Granted, from an angle, yes, it does look kind of pink. Maybe it'll do something like if you're extremely, extremely fair. This is not going to do crap for me. Um, this one I can see on more like, you know, light to medium skin tones being a nice blush color. I think that it's a little bit too light for me. And then on deeper skin tones, um, I think this one's gonna work out. As much as it scared me, it's actually kind of pretty. And it does like the ever so light wash of color. Um, but they, they're very, very soft. They're very, very nice formulas. Um, you know, not patchy. They go on really, really smooth. Um, and actually for them being as shimmery as they are, I don't think that they went on the face all of that shimmery like I said I've got large pores so like I don't want to bring that out but it's really not doing that so I am gonna pull out another highlighter though which is the winner from the last Wet n Wild collection the Gothographic which is this guy right here literally the best freaking highlighter I have ever put on my face in my entire life by the way, before we move into that, the blush is actually $4.99, so if you're interested in picking those up, that's how much they go for. Um, but this freaking highlighter, you guys, I don't, I'm gonna look on here and see if it's still available. I don't think that it is. It's not, I don't see it on here. So if you didn't get your hands on this when it was available, I'm sorry you missed out, but it is literally the wettest, most beautiful hi highlighter I have ever seen in my entire life. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this, and y'all can just kind of watch and see. How amazing. It's just, ugh, it's sickening. It is literally the most sickening highlight of my life. I'm telling y'all, that highlight, if you did not pick that up from the last collection, you seriously missed out. It is literally the most sickening highlighter I've ever used, and it was so cheap. I think it was only like, what, $6.99, something like that? And it is the wettest, brightest highlight I have ever used in my entire life. Um, if you're not into it, then you didn't miss out on much. But if you're like me and you like a sickening, blinding highlight, uh, I live, I live. Let's go ahead and wrap this up so this does not turn into an hour long freaking video. 
All right, so the last few things that are in here are the lip glosses. So let's go ahead and try these guys out. Um, this is what they all look like. So we've got some interesting colors here. Let's go ahead and swatch them. I wasn't gonna put all these on, but I guess I'll go ahead and try them for you guys. So I'm gonna actually go in with Shut the Pluck Up first. Um, we'll see how this one kind of goes on, see what it looks like on the skin, with my skin tone, all that good stuff. So here's the first gloss color. It is in the color Shut the Pluck Up. Um, I think these glosses feel amazing. They're not sticky or anything like that. They're very, very thick. And I think the color is just like so nice and even. Um, you know, it's not patchy. Like I feel like a lot of those like colored glosses, they'll go on a little bit patchy. This is actually a really, really pretty colored gloss um, just for like every day. I mean, for somebody of my skin color, this is a little bit more every day. If you're a little bit more fair, I think this might be a little bit vampy on you. Um, but this is extremely beautiful just to wear on its own. And I here for it. So let's go ahead and wipe this off, move on to the next lip color. All right, next up we're gonna try Pout of Paradise, which is this nice orange one. So let's go ahead and try this bad boy out. All right, and here we are with Pout of Paradise. This is an insanely beautiful color. It's a nice orange color. Again, it goes on very opaque. It's not patchy. I love the formula. It's not sticky. Um, and it feels really, really good. Very, very nourishing on the lips. Beautiful color. Let's move on to the next one. All right, next let's go on with this weird kind of pink color that I think is gonna be too light on me. It is in the color Fly Gal. All right, here's the color of Fly Gal, hate it. Um, definitely not for my skin color. This is definitely for my fair friends out there. Um, this one does go on a little bit more patchy, but I think it's because it's so light. I feel like the lighter colors tend to go on a little bit patchy. Um, kind of not here for it. It's kind of a little bit too cotton candy, a little bit too Nicki Minaj for me. Um, you know, it's a little too pink. Don't like it. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the last shade. All right, so moving on to the last shade, which is the color Featherless, which is the nude. That's the one that I really wanted to use. I'm using it last because I'm hoping to keep this one on. So let's pray that it's the good color. All right, and here is the last one, which is Featherless. I still think it's a little bit light. I could probably hit it with a little bit of lip liner and it'll look better. Um, but I definitely think that it's pretty. This one's, um, you know, it's a little bit... Um, a smidgen bit patchy, but if you just kind of your lips together, then it's definitely much, much better. Um, but I'm living for the formulas, guys. I would definitely pick all of these. I just dropped all of them. Um, I would definitely pick all these up, like if you are interested in any of the colors on here. Um, definitely not into this one. I think it's a little bit too light for me, um, so I'll probably give that one away. Um, but these ones I'm really here for. This is just a really nice everyday nude, and then these are just some really nice pops of color when you just want to wear a gloss. So anyways, you guys, that is it. That is the entire collection. I almost forgot, we gotta set the face. We gotta set it with our with our setting spray. So let's go ahead and... I will say that I like the mist that comes out of this though. It has like a really like nice fine mist. Still think that it smells like diaper wipes, but I digress. All right guys, that is it. That is the finished look. That is everything that is left here in this box. So basically, as my final verdict going through these guys right here, sorry. You can bend the box back a little bit. So the blushes, I think, are a win. For somebody that hates blush, this actually kind of made me like blush. I, like, I'm not gonna go um, wipe my face off after I walk away from the camera, like I normally do when I test out blushes for you guys. I think the formula is really, really nice. They're very soft, they're very buttery. I think they blend into the skin really well. So I would definitely pick these up if that is something that you're into. Again, if you just wanna pick these up, singles in the store, these each go for $4.99. Um, in regards to the eyeshadow quads, I thought they were kind of cool. Um, I don't necessarily think that you need them for only two dollars and 99 cents you really can't beat it all that much I think that the um, the blue and the purple in this one are to freaking die for I think they're awesome um, it's very very hard to get bright colors like that to pop on me and it's just 
it's popping. Like it looks so good and it's so pretty and so easy to blend out. Um, this guy right here wasn't really a fan of. It's all the neutrals. This shade right here just did not work at all and it's just, I just do a hard pass. However, I thought these ones were pretty cool but this one's definitely my favorite. The glosses, just told you guys about those ones. The glosses are amazing. They each go for $3.99. I would definitely pick them up. The formula is nice. They're not sticky. Um, you know, they're just very, very comfortable. I can definitely see myself wearing them all day. Um, the eyeliners, they're cool. You know, you really can't beat it. I believe these things are what, $3.99? Um, let me look. So they're $2.99, I'm sorry, they're $2.99. Um, you know, I think they're decent for, you know, eyeliners. I don't necessarily think that Wet n Wild has the best liquid eyeliners, but I think they're okay if you're just kind of starting out wanting to practice, wanting to use them. I think that they're okay to use. I don't necessarily see myself reaching for them. Um, the setting spray is okay. Um, could probably kind of live without it. I don't need it. I don't necessarily like the smell of it. I've got other setting sprays that work better. Um, you know, my favorite is the Morphe setting spray. I think that it's just the freaking balls. Um, and then the lip scrub guy, um, which, sorry, the spray is $4.99 if you are into getting the setting spray. And then the lip scrub goes for $3.99. Um, I think that it's delicious. I definitely think that it gives other lip scrubs a run for their money. I don't think that it tastes as good, although you're not really supposed to be eating it, but like whatever, don't don't eat it. But um, I definitely think that it has like a lot of the same nourishing properties and does like the same thing that a lot of other um, different types of lip scrubs do out there. And again, if you wanted to pick up the entire collection, just to have it and collect, this whole entire thing goes for $34.99, which I think is pretty good. Um, you get a lot of stuff for that amount. So anyways, you guys, that is it. Hopefully that helps you make a little bit more of an informed decision if you wanted to get the entire box, or maybe you just wanted to get a few things from the box, and maybe I helped you out. Uh, come up with what items out of the box that you might want. Overall, for the most part, this box was definitely a win. There's a couple flops in there for me, but for the most part, it was a pretty darn good box. I'm pleased with the eyeshadow look that I came out with today. Um, I think it's really pretty. So anyways, you guys, that is it. Thank you for following along, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.